This is where the rubber meets the road. Now that you've imported your contacts, you've got your outgoing voicemail recorded, you've got your outbound caller ID figured out, you've created a folder structure that's gonna help you stay organized based off of the call outcome. Now it's time to start smiling and dialing, so let me show you how to get started. From the contact manager, you're gonna choose the folder that contains the data that you wanna call. Here we've got our data in the campaign calls folder. I'm gonna go ahead and select the contacts that I wanna call. I can either select them individually or I can select the entire page of contacts. Once I've got the contacts selected that I wanna call, I can click this begin dial session button. That's gonna pop up this new window where you can configure the specific settings that you want for this dial session. Now, obviously, since you're just getting started, you don't have a lot of things configured or set up in Phone Burner, but you can have a phone script that you have on the screen as you're making calls. We talked about having multiple dialing and live answer sets when we talked about configuring the dispositions. The voicemail recording option, this is where you get to choose the pre-recorded voicemail you wanna leave if somebody doesn't answer. So let's say today's Monday, I'm gonna choose my Monday voicemail. For caller ID, I get to choose the specific caller ID I want to display as I'm making calls. In my particular case, I want to choose the VPhone number because that's the phone number that I just purchased through Phone Burner. For dialer mode, I can choose pause and preview or power. Power dialing is the most popular option because it immediately moves you on to the next call. But if you want to take things a little slower, you can use pause and preview and the system will bring up the new contact before actually dialing it. And another option you can enable in your account is the ability to record. But once you've made the selections here, go ahead and hit continue. And now we just need to get connected to the system. Now, depending on your account level, we'll determine what options you have available here. If you have professional or premium, you can use your browser, meaning a headset plugged into your computer. Otherwise, you'll use your telephone. You'll just dial in and get connected. I'm gonna go ahead and use my headset plugged into my computer, so I'm gonna click on Grant Mic Access. I'm gonna allow Phone Burner to access my microphone. Now once I'm connected, all I have to do is hit the Start Dialing button, and the system is gonna start calling through my data, start calling through my list here. Now if it goes to voicemail, I can click to leave my pre-recorded voicemail without having to listen to the entire greeting, without having to wait for the beep. Now, if I want to leave a live voicemail, I can just hang on the line, wait for the beep. Then I just say whatever it is that I want to say for that voicemail. Like, hey, this is Jeff. I was calling you to show you how to make more money, make more phone calls, whatever, right? And then when I'm done, I click the live voicemail button. And if somebody answers the phone live, there's no pause, no delay, no awkward silence. You just start talking to them. At some point during the call, you'll click Live Answer. When you're done talking to them, click End Call. Again, there's never any pause or delay when you're calling somebody using Phone Burner. You're always live on the line, so when they pick up the phone, you're able to talk to them immediately. But there's never a rush for you to have to click any specific button. Now, you may have noticed that the follow-up disposition is grayed out. This is one of the buttons that we talked about when covering dispositions. This button will force us to choose a follow-up date before we can click on the follow-up button. Once we choose the date and click the follow-up button, that's what will set the follow-up date on that record so that we never lose track of a contact that we need to follow up with. Once again, if you get a live answer, no pause, no delay, just start talking to them. But at some point, you're gonna to wanna to click that live answer button. There are some options here to put a contact on hold or transfer a call. Now, in order to transfer somebody, you do have to create some transfer agents. There's a separate training for that. Again, when you're done talking to them, you can end the call. Then, of course, you can take as much time as you want or need adding notes, you can also create an appointment in your phone burner calendar. And now it's up to you to start getting things done. Go ahead and mark this step as completed and start smiling and dialing. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and happy dialing. Bye for now.